G'day, so today is a really chill day. I am colouring in three artworks uh, in three different mediums, pencil, marker and digitally. I'm using them as a chance to first of all demonstrate uh, different mediums and how to really effectively blend and colour and mix and highlight and and create gradients and, and uh, light tones and stuff. And then also it's a good opportunity as well to sort of plug the colouring book, which is cool, but they won't be all coming out at once. One, the pencil one, which I've just finished, will come out uh, next week. But then the other two will just sort of be spares that I can just tuck away for later as I work on other videos. And it means that in the future when we want to take time off, and I think sometime in February we want to take a bit of a break, uh, it means that we have some content set aside. So that's the main purpose of it. But today I've just finished colouring this one. I'll give you a bit of a preview. This is what the top part of the finished colouring piece looks like. And this is done with pencils, just to, some standard Prismacolor pencils. So this has been really fun to do and I really like the result. Uh, I won't show you the whole piece because you're going to have to wait till next week to see it. But it's really fun putting these together and, and creating as, as nice and rich as possible coloured in pieces. And the main perk of today is that I just get to listen to audiobooks all day. I think that's one of the little secret payoffs or benefits of working with an editor is you can't listen to stuff while you edit. But you can, well you do art, which is awesome because more than ever, especially now that the Oathbringer book has come out, the third book in the Stormlight Archive series, which I'm really into, uh, it's, it's awesome because for the last two days I've pretty much listened to it all day and I'm loving it. And there's like 50 hours in the audiobook, so I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> it's on to markers now. Though strict and unforgiving, the boy bringers understood that to work hard, slaves needed good rations and plenty of time at night to rest. They weren't even chained up. Running away would be pointless under the watchful care of Hughes, who could fly, and did it over as well, warning her about the poisoned tip. One by one, Caledon sent them into the sky. All right, the day has come to an end. I haven't finished all three pieces. I've gotten about two and a half, maybe a little more than half of the digital one done. Uh, but I will pick up where I left off tomorrow. And that's the beautiful thing about scheduling Fridays to be empty because uh, tomorrow I need to finish off what I didn't finish on Tuesday and today, which is essentially a full day's work. So thank goodness for scheduling Fridays empty. Uh, question of the day comes from CookieBot100 who says, I've been in love with art since I was a toddler, but because I never got in touch with a professional, I'm 13 years old now and I don't know what medium to specialize in. I love drawing realistic faces with pencil, but want to learn to use other things like Copic or paint. Do you have any advice on what art style I should learn? I just don't feel like any mechanical pencil sketches are enough. Okay, it's awesome that you've been in love with art since you're a toddler, that's fantastic. But don't put pressure on yourself. You're 13 years old. Seriously, just chase the love. Have have fun with art, especially while there is no reason to have pressure on yourself. Eventually, you might be able to get a job working as an artist, and that will come with all sorts of different pressures. That's normal. But while you're young and experimenting with things, just have fun playing with things without worrying about needing to specialize in something. Because you'll find that as you experiment with different mediums, you will fall in love with things, but you will also learn from the things you may not end up following uh, along the way. You know, I, I've done some pencil coloring today. I haven't pencil colored in a long time, uh, and I, I do so only once or twice a year for a video. It's not the coloring medium I go to, but it is valuable to learn from and how they work, and that's something I've played with. It's not something I always go to, I don't specialize in it, but it's good to just try everything and, and have fun. So that's my recommendation. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. That's that's it for this video. It's pretty pretty simple and straightforward one. Uh, I'm looking forward to, to getting back where we left off tomorrow and uh, wrapping up today with a nice cold beer and cooking some dinner and unwinding. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.